Hey, this is just a quick tip for all of you guys who are interested in tabletop videography. I'm not gonna go through every aspect of this, just a major one. And that's the question of how do I arrange the tech that I need on the table in a neat and orderly way that doesn't take up a lot of space, is easily moved around and safe. The base here has actually nothing to do with a tripod, it's actually a mic stand. The cool thing though is you can get rid of all of this and just start with this. Since we got our base now, the other thing we need is a way to mount the camera. So this is accomplished by a third party generic aluminium ball head. Now yours might have a different brand name, so just look for a build that's the same as this. Of course comparing it to something like a Joby ball head X, this is not as well machined as this. It works more smoothly and it is machined more precisely. But this currently goes for 70 bucks and this goes for 20 bucks and this ain't three times better than this. There is one other thing though that you have to make sure of and that is that the female mount of the ball head fits the male mount of the mic stand. In this case these are both 3 8 of an inch mounts but still if you got both these things and the mounts don't match there's a variety of adapters that adapt from 3 8 to a quarter inch and back. So let's put them together and see what they can do for us. Just take the plate off and mount it to your camera. The way they did the plate it sometimes is a hassle to put it on but again for 20 bucks we'll willing to make some compromises. And this is how easy it is. You now can make full use of the range of the ball head. You can even go to a 90 degree angle and with a camera of that size it still won't tip. Also, as you might be able to see, as soon as I turn off the lights, ah, there I am, I'm currently using the same setups for shooting this scenario. Let me show you. This is the S7 Edge with my Rode VideoMic ME on a smartphone mount that's mounted to a magic arm that then is connected to one of those setups. The other setup is used to mount my LED light. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of options or solutions that you can come up with whenever there is a situation where you need to figure something out. So look forward to these situations because that's the most fun. Figuring out how to do stuff and then do it exactly the way you want to do it. Also, changing cameras or any kind of gear really is a breeze if there is a plate pre-mounted because then to switch from one camera to the other all you got to do is get rid of this one, turn it on, hit record, place it in the ball head. Voila, you're now shooting with the Sony A5100. I actually used the A5100 with a Choby plate and that's another benefit of this ball head because this opens wide. You can fit a wide variety of plates onto this ball head. But why stop here? You can put anything on there that has a quarter inch tripod mount. <laughs> Now of course you can also use it to mount an external monitor like I'm doing right here having installed DSLR controller on my Nexus 7 using it to remotely control my 70D. Usually I would place something like this outside of the frame on the table just to be able to glance over there every once in a while and check that I'm recording what I want to record. But of course every setup does have its limitations. So cameras of this size at like an almost 90 degree angle this doesn't work. But still you can make use of a wide variety of angles. You can also play small to medium sized LED panels on that setup and if they're light enough have full use of the ball head with every angle. Also it's usually possible to get the plates separate from the ball heads. If you found the video helpful please make sure to leave a thumbs up it'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. In any case as always thank you so much for your time thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.